Blessings, 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 Smurf and TikTokers. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read below it seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Tuesday, July 19, 2022, Genesis 42nd chapter, verses 8 through 38 and 43rd chapter. Scripture for today is, hold on, let me correct that. Genesis 42nd chapter, verse the uh, verse 8, and it reads, And Joseph knew his brethren, but they not him. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's get into this exciting read. So Joseph, his brothers have come to Egypt for food, and his dream, his vision he had way back when he was a kid is about to pass. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Genesis 42nd chapter, and 8 verses, and it reads, and Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this man with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you. Or else, by the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear the Lord. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye. Carry corn for the famine of your houses, but bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when he beside us, and we were not here. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child? And ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them, in other words, he left, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and to restore every man's money into his sack, and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. And they landed their asses with the corn, and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he espied his money. For, beho for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored. And lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them. And they were afraid. Saying one to another, What is this that God has done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who was the lord of the land, he spake roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto him, We are true men, we are, spy we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Here be, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone, and bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And so it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. 
And when they and when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me have ye begrieved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and you will take Benjamin away? All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons. If I bring not to thee, deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which you go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. And that would be Benjamin. Benjamin and Joseph are the only children of Rachel. Um, and the famine was sore. So it's taken a period of time. They, had, they didn't go right back. And the famine was sore in the land. So now they needing food again. And so it came to pass. When they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt. Their father said unto them, go again, buy us a little food. And Judah spake unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, ye shall, not, ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. If thou send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. But if thou wilt not send him, hmm, then we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me, as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state, and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of these words. Could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judah said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go that we may live and not die, but we and both and also our little ones. I will be surety for him. Of my hand shalt thou require him, if I bring him not unto thee, and set him before thee. Then let me bear the blame forever. For except ye had lingered, surely now we had returned the second time. And the father Israel said unto them, If it must be so now, do this. Take of the best fruits in the land in your vessels and carry down the man a present, a little balm and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almonds. And take double money in your hand and the money that was brought again in the mouth of the, your sacks. Carry it again in your hand, pre-adventure. It was an oversight. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. I tell you, this story is getting better and better and more and more exciting. Rest assured, your sins find you out. It took time, but it found them out. Well, TikTokers, well, you're a part of the Smurf Family International Ministry. Seven Minute Read Family, Seven Minute Read follows just Seven Minute Read Faithful Folk. We do broadcast live 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time daily, Monday through Friday. YouTube and Facebook usually is always up and it's hardly ever down. And you can find me live there on Pamela Dobson, live at these other places, Instagram, Tango, Twitch, Twitter, Big O Live, Me, 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 Fan Base, and You Now is the other one. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, You Now is the other. Uh, donations, I ask for $7. Seven minute read, $7. Donation, $2. Sign Mama Pam23. And or paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Zell was specifically made for Mackenzie Scott Jewett. He used to be Bezo. Sis, I'm asking for $7 million to start a transitional home for underprivileged African American girls here in Texas under the age of 18, possibly have been human trafficked, and or are with child, have a baby. I would like to be the one to help nurture them, instruct them, teach them, rear them up so they can be successful women, God-fearing women too, in society. Until the next read, looking to hear from you, Miss McKenzie. Tick-tock, looking at the clock, 10 o'clock, and I got to stop. God bless. 10 minutes, shall I say, and I must stop.